Polk County, it's time to get on point. I'm Kia Lopez, let's get started. Thanks to recent rains, the Polk County burn ban was repealed on Tuesday. The Polk County Fire Chief had declared a burn ban on May 27th due to dangerous fire conditions throughout the county. The burn ban can be reinstated if conditions get dry once again. The repeal means residents in all unincorporated Polk and municipalities who choose to participate in the burn ban are now allowed to burn yard debris, campfires, bonfires, and construction debris. Florida Southern College is expanding. Lakeland commissioners approved a conditional use permit on June 21st that will allow Florida Southern to use the former St. Joseph's Academy grounds to expand its nursing program. The building should be ready for classes by this fall. As part of its agreement with the city, Florida Southern agreed to leave the existing sports field as open space for private or public recreational activities, including possible intramural sports, the existing butterfly garden and gazebo dedicated in memory of Monsignor John P. Caulfield in 2016 will be maintained by the college. Bartow will be celebrating Independence Day this year with a variety of music and fun. Starting at 2.30 p.m. on July 4th, festivities will kick off with a free patriotic show featuring the Bartow Adult Concert Band at the Bartow Civic Center. After an opening ceremony at 6 p.m., a variety of musical acts will follow until fireworks launch at 9.30 p.m. There will be food and activities for the whole family. Attendees are encouraged to bring lawn chairs, blankets, and bug spray while observing social distancing protocols. That's all of Polk County's top headlines this week. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next time.